My name is Jessica Ormond and I've just finished three years studying fashion buying with marketing at De Montfort University. The course out of the three years has been incredibly interesting. My time with De Montfort has not only allowed me to learn on my course and surrounding that but also have trips to Amsterdam to New York and get involved with the Conficuous Institute learning Mandarin. So the areas of the course that I found really interesting were a lot of the visiting lecturers, especially Levi's, they gave a really in, really great insight into the brand and how they work with different kind of celebrities like Skepta and how they kind of collaborate to really enthuse like the younger generation as well. Highlights of studying at De Montfort University. Um, it's the whole cliche of you make as many friends, you know, you make so many great friends and they're people that you will truly be friends with for life learning something that you actually are really enthused by and that you want to go out and build a career in and also the trips I think you know I wouldn't probably wouldn't have gone to Amsterdam in New York if I hadn't had the opportunity to do Monfoot Global um, you know on the trips we got to visit kind of head offices we got to visit Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein, we got to go to Lecture Vieira, I got to go to Gap and those were opportunities that I would have never had had it not been for the team. I did a placement in a children's wear office down in London supplying the British High Street. I went in as a merchandising assistant but I worked across buying, merchandising and tech so I kind of got a really great insight into what the real buying world is about um, and that helped me kind of cement what I wanted to do in the future. My placement really helped me in my final year. Um, although I didn't kind of go into children's wear or my dissertation wasn't based on what I'd done on placement, we have a module called Sourcing and Supply and the experience I'd gained from being, in pla being on placement and being in a buying office really, really helped me kind of develop my ideas and put those into my work. The course helps you pursue the career that you want because it gives you the experience not only from a buying point of view, but from a merchandising point of view, a technical point of view and every single career that's in a buying office or surrounded to it. So you know not only what you want to do, but what others are doing and how your role fits in with their kind of day-to-day -day life. The facilities at the Monfort are outstanding. Recently I was lucky enough to tour Vijay Patel around his building and that was one of the best experiences I've ever had at Monfort University. The kind of the transition from the old Fletcher block and learning in Gateway to learning in the Vijay Patel building is one that I will never ever forget. I can't understand, I can't appreciate them any more than I have done and for me I don't want to ever leave. I want to utilise every single thing that I can. My dissertation topic was Brexit and the potential impact upon the UK fashion manufacturing industry. So I kind of looked at what would happen if funding changed or what would happen if the number of kind of the level of immigration into the business has changed and how that every single thing that we take for granted on a day to day basis as being a UK citizen would change and then that impacts upon the fashion manufacturing industry. So I focused on brands like John Smedley and Burberry and Mulberry, all of whom have incredible British heritage and are really established British brands and what the kind of withdrawal of the UK from the EU will mean for them and for their workers and for their customers. To any students that would be looking to join the course or any kind of similar courses, I would only say is get as much experience as you can, whether it be a day somewhere, whether it be two weeks somewhere, three months somewhere, whatever you can get, get, go out and get it. People are never going to turn down help and people are never going to turn down experience and whether you want to help someone, be it in buying, be it in merchandising, whether you're not sure what you want to do, just go and try different things because then you, at least you can kind of get as much as you can before you come and you can't almost do that when you get into the real world and you get into the graduate world. Best three words that describe the course at the Montfort University would be innovative, engaging and thorough. Oh god I babble so much don't I? I would hate me if I wasn't me.
My name is Constance Hambridge and I am studying fashion buying with marketing. Um, what I found really interesting is the sort of diverseness of it, so really get to understand different industries um, surrounding the fashion sort of area, so obviously learn about merchandising, um, visual merchandising, um, even sort of technologist work and how to sort of um, highlight sort of what fibres are used. Some of my main highlights um, throughout DMU is being an active member of the Dance Society. Um, I've been a member since first year and um, even in fin final year I got selected to be on the ballet competition troupe and went around different universities competing in competitions against each other. Um, other areas I would say is um, volunteering at Festival of Marketing where it was a industry-led sort of um, event in London and we went down for the day and volunteered um, doing shifts just assisting in day-to-day -day tasks but also got to attend really key talks. The staff at um, De Montford I find are really helpful, they're really encouraging um, if you've got any problems whether it's um, course related or personal they're always there to listen. Um, I believe the facilities here are brilliant, um, you've got the library with so many resources um, there as well as um, sort of sewing room, CAD labs um, and you know you you rarely find sort of a time where you're struggling to find a computer which is really useful. <laughs> um, over the summer of second year I did work experience at Marks and & Spencers and International Dance Suppliers for two weeks. For Marks & Spencers I attended fit sessions and met with suppliers dealing with um, uh, the sort of the first fit sessions all the way up to the gold seal. Um, I ordered and sourced lab dips as well. Um, at International Dance Supplies I designed and um, did competitive reports for gymnastic and dance wear um, as well as doing stock take and catalogue or ordering. I would say yes it has helped in my final year of studying um, I've, especially in the sourcing module, I believe all my experience and knowledge really helped to understand first-hand situations of dealing with challenges in the, sort of, in the supply chain. The course has helped me to pursue my career because I've been able to understand um, sort of more areas of um, the fashion industry. Um, without the course, I believe um, my knowledge would just be very um, sort of almost consumer side whereas now I've been able to understand the retailer side of um, the development of the product. Um, I wrote my dissertation on omni-channeling retailing and how that and technology has affected the UK high streets. I would recommend students to join the course just to um, be very open with your career aspects because you may come into the course thinking that you're going to do sort of this in this industry however you will leave with a completely different idea. Um, be very open to um, sort of your horizons and don't hold back. Um, three words to describe the sort of course is um, creative, fun and diverse. Oh. <laughs>
My name's Megan Randall and I study fashion buying and marketing. Um, I think what I found most interesting is the versatility of the course. Um, so you started off in first year doing basic like sewing skills, um, which I needed <laughs> to start with. And then we did like knitting, weaving, um, technical textiles, which was really interesting. And then we moved more into marketing and the fashion buying principles. And then obviously applied on that in the third year um, in a more commercial way. Um, I think there's a lot of highlights. Um, one of the highlights was going to London Fashion Week in second year. That was really interesting. We got to see quite a few catwalks. Um, one of them was in an underground garage, which was quite an interesting one. Um, and then we got to walk out into London onto Oxford Street and see the shops, uh, which is great for a fashion student. Um, so other my highlights were going to netball. Um, in first year I was on the netball team which was really good fun. All of the socials are really good fun and then I joined swim and try in second year um, and we had an end of year meal which was really great but varsity is great. Everyone gets together and there's real like team spirit within the uni. We did really well this year so it was really great to see that De Montfort are beginning to take on Leicester and becoming a real rival for them. I think the facilities have always been great. Um, I came back after my placement year and there was this brand new building, VJ, which is amazing. Um, there's everything that you can think of. And it's just interesting to walk through the halls and see other courses going on as well as fashion. Um, the library's got great facilities. There's so many different floors. If you want to work in a private, quiet space, you can go in there. There's more of open space, group work. You can even rent laptops in the library, which is great. Um, as well as the sports facilities. There's a brand new pool in there, climbing arena, um, netball courts, basketball courts, everything you can think of. Um, so that's really great. My opinion of the staff is obviously they've been really great. They've got great commercial awareness, industry opinions, which has been great. They're really approachable. Um, so if I've ever had any problems as well, they helped me with getting my job. Um, so they helped me with some swaps uh, that I had to do for my interview preparations and just helping build your confidence with your skills at university. I did my placement at a company called AIS. It stands for Associated Independent Stores. Basically the whole buying module behind it was that we bought ranges for stores and then they would come to our biannual shows and pick ranges that were specific to their store. Um, so my role was, I was an assistant women's wear product developer. Um, so it was very hands-on. Uh, we didn't have buying per se, but it was involved in the role. Um, so I'd take the range from beginning to end um, and talk to the buyers at the shows and try and convince them to buy our range. Um, so yeah, it was a really good experience. I made loads of contacts at the company and, and loads of friends in the office. It was really good to get out of uni and see what it's like in real life working environment. Yes, my placement really helped me in my final year. I think just getting up and working nine to five every day on placement really helped me get out of that uni lifestyle. So I'd get up and go to lectures and it wouldn't be as hard anymore. But also it helped with the work, um, it's definitely sourcing a supply module. Um, you understand because you do it in practice when you're in a buying office. Um, so that massively helped me with the course. And yeah, it helped me. <laughs> I have got a job, yeah, I got a job with Next. Um, I'm gonna be a trainee buyer with Next um, and hopefully be in kids or women's wear. So very close to what I've studied on the course. I got the job um, through applying um, and we had a mock interview with university that they set up with their contacts with Next. So that was great, it got my name noticed and when I went in for the real interview, the HR person recognised me, um, which was great. Um, and then it really helped settle my nerves. My lecturers helped me with the work that I needed to do for the interview as well. So it was massively down to them as well as me. I wrote my dissertation on um, how social media affects a younger audience. Um, I worked with kids over the summer in between placement and uni um, and noticed that the younger age group are starting to use social media and how fashion marketers are starting to target them through things like Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook. Um, and even though children as young as eight years old were using social media, even though they're supposed to be 13, so it was trying to get that balance between what's um, legally right and also how can fashion marketers reach this audience in an ethical way. So it's really interesting and um, definitely helped some of my family members that have younger audience, <laughs> younger kids. 
Um, my recommendations would be that if you love fashion and you want to work in something that's other than design, then definitely study this course. Um, I think it gives you a great opportunity not just to buying, but merchandising, marketing, uh, visual merchandising as well. It opened my eyes up to how many different roles there are in the fashion industry. It's not just design and making that everyone thinks. Uh, but also my recommendations would be to start your dissertation early. Um, I didn't know that I should have started it earlier than I did, but and study over, maybe just choose a subject that you're really interested in, which I did, but um, start a little bit earlier, because uh, it definitely helps you in your final year. I think the three words that describe this course is that it's creative, that it's commercial, and that it's really fun. Okay. <laughs> <sighs>
My name's Emily Elizabeth Hyde and I've just completed my last year in fashion buying with marketing. I think what I found most interesting over the past three years is the practical things we've learned. So CAD has been one of my favorite things to learn because it's just become so big in industry and it's something you can use in every single part. So it's not only for design, it's for marketing, it's for sourcing and supply, it's for even merchandising, you're gonna use it. So it's been really, really helpful to learn CAD. It's just been invaluable, really. My highlights over the past three years have been, well, there's, there's quite a few, so I'll try to narrow them down. Uh, I think one of my favorite things was the guest lectures that we've had have been absolutely amazing. It's given a really detailed insight into how the industry works and how we would figure into the industry how, as students uh, when we're looking for a career. So that's been quite amazing. Um, also, you know, not completely to do with studying, but the fashion buying trip we do to New York is probably one of the best trips you'll ever do. Really, the university is great and they really help you out with um, the payments to that, which obviously makes it better. But we got to see Gap headquarters and we got to go into their archives, which is about, what, 50 years of Gap stuff and Banana Republic. It's amazing. We got to go to Jewels. Um, the U.S. headquarters and see how they've tried to break into the U.S. market, which was really insightful into how their marketing and how they've tried to, to break it, because the U.S. is a really tough industry to break into. It just, it was great. And we also got to go to Global Brands, which was great. You know, marketing is my personal passion, and we got to go there and see how they were doing. They're one of the biggest companies in the world. So it was really, really fun. So I think those were two of my biggest highlights over the last three years. Guest lectures, uh, we've had quite a few visit us over the past three years. Um, this year alone, we've had Simon Platz, who's the sourcing director of ASOS. We've had him in twice, which has been absolutely amazing. We have also had um, Nell Black, who's worked at a number of different places over the years in buying. It's just, and she's been in about three or four times as well. So it's not just we get them once and they go away. They come back and they talk you through it and they elaborate and they build on it. So it's been really interesting to have all these guest lectures and the facilities. I mean, the new building is just amazing. It's it's sad that we only get it in our last year because it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, with the staff, I mean, they have been so helpful over the past three years. It's been such a great experience and never once have I been turned away from asking extra questions or have I, I've always been offered extra uh, time if I need it, especially around projects. They always give you extra help where they can and when you get your projects back, every single lecturer will give you time to come back and go over and how you can improve the next time. So it's been, it's just been a really good experience and I felt really supported throughout the three years. I wrote my dissertation on uh, sustainability in fashion because it's something I really believe in and it's something I believe is going to be quite big in the future, especially after Rana Plaza. And it was really great to, to do. I, you know, thought at the beginning 15,000 words, I'm never going to write that. And then two weeks in after writing it, I go, oh no. 15,000 words isn't enough, but it was really, really fun. And um, like I said, with the uh, guest lectures, actually Simon Platz allowed me to interview him for my dissertation. So it was a really great bridge from what he was saying in lectures to interviewing him for my dissertation and kind of building on what he had said. So it was, it was really good and I really enjoyed it. Um, I have done some work experience over the past um, three years. Not a lot because obviously I'm not British, so an international student but I got to do a um, festival of marketing this year, which was absolutely amazing. So we got to go down to London, work an hour and a half at this, at this marketing event. And then we got to go to all the lectures. It was just amazing. I can't really remember what they were, but I do know the keynote speaker was Apple, which was amazing to see. It was booked out and we got to go. It was amazing. It was so much fun. This course has helped me pursue my career in marketing and fashion because it's really opened my eyes to how marketing works in the fashion industry and what practical applications we need. So how to find out what your target market is, how to make a marketing plan that's actually gonna work and isn't just, you know, you going, oh yes, let's do a fashion show and that's gonna be great. 
it's really helped hone those skills. And like I said, the CAD and all that practical work that we've done has really helped in how I can market myself to companies and, you know, get, get the job I want. Uh, recommendations I'd make for students to join the course is do the course. It's absolutely amazing. Um, if you're looking to do fashion, this is a very good course. It gives you a very good understanding of what the industry actually wants. It's not just about fashion buying. It's not just about fashion marketing, although those are the two core subjects. It's an overall experience on how everything works together in the fashion industry. So it gives you an absolutely amazing time, I guess. It just, every everything, everything is applicable to your future career, so definitely do it. Ooh, this is a tough one. What three words best describe the course? I think informative, um, practical, and fun are probably the three words I'd use because it gives you such a good understanding of what the fashion industry does and how to apply that practically, but in a really fun way. So it's, it's just a really well-rounded course. I've really loved it. I kind of sad to leave now.